Well, you got to remember too, is like women are not going to sleep with you if they don't respect you. And I feel if you, if you end up leading with money, you can easily do that. It, that, that can easily turn into you simping and then they're not going to respect you. And then they're just going to be there for your money. And then you're really going to just attract those actual gold diggers. Right. And that's the whole thing with like simping and leading with money. It's like you're offering value when that they, they haven't even shown their value yet. And they know that they're not idiots. Right. So at that point they realize, oh, this guy's not really in abundance. Um, you know, no social proof there. And then they don't respect you. And then they just try to drain you. But yeah, I mean, I work with guys too. I'm working with a guy right now. He is insanely wealthy and he's even a pretty good looking dude. And he's not short. He's got everything going for him. Why is he working with a dating coach? Well, because just because you might be a decent looking dude with a ton of money and he's also a doctor, so he's got status there that does not equate to, okay, you're just going to get all these women, right? It just doesn't work that way. I, it can, it can, but you still need to have some sort of game. You need to know what you're doing. You need to be a guy that women can respect. And I feel like a lot of guys who kind of like you were saying, Jaren, it's like a guy who starts to almost increase in value and doesn't really know it. So mentally he's still behind his actual value, which actually decreases his value. Right. So he thinks that he's um, it's like body dysmorphia or something like that, like mental dysmorphia. It's like, you still see yourself as that loser, even though you're not, but because you see yourself that way, you're going to be acting that way. And then therefore you're not going to end up getting any women. Dude, Here's I a like revelation that changed from dysmorphia. That's a great analogy. And Hudson and I have been working on this a bit too, because I'll come to him. I'll be like, yo man, like I'm having like insecurities about not being super rich, like Tate. And it's exactly what it is. It's dysmorphia. And it's like, wait, Paul, not... what, why, why did you say that? Like Tate? Oh, so yeah, I've, I've, Hudson, I've been talking, like, I've had to stop watching red pill, red pill content because I'll listen to these shows, uh, like Fresh and Fit, Andrew Tate and all that. And I respect them because I mean, they're top men, but like, I'm never going to be fucking rich as Andrew Tate. Are you kidding me? Like, dude, you're going through what, 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 uh, an average woman is going through. It's so funny. Literally, it's like body dysmorphia, mental dysmorphia. Think about that for a second, right? It's like you're going, I'm never going to be like Tate. That's like a girl looking at a, um, uh, you know, I don't know what magazines do, do girls read now. I don't know, a Cosmo or Cosmo. something like that or Maxim or something. And they see this like super hot girl. And they're like, oh, God, this is what guys want. I'll never be like that. It's like, dude, don't compare yourself to the 0.00001% thinking like <laughs> i need to be at that level and this is you do right. you bring up a good point this is like i'm having a, a little bit of a, a revelation here it's like this is the problem with social media now this is what's happening is we are all men and women we are all getting so discouraged because we see other people who have more of what we want we go oh i'm never gonna have that and then boom we just kind of you know go back to sedating ourselves with drugs and food and and in action you're never going to get to a certain level but that doesn't mean that you can't improve to a level that you're going to be incredibly happy at because right. as you continue to improve your opportunities expands the quality of women the attractiveness of women it all goes up so would you rather wallow in the fact that you're never going to be a certain way or are you going to accept it and try and get as close as possible totally and that was the choice i had to make in that moment it's like, all right, I listen to these guys' advice. I go out, I get better, or I feel self-pity. You guys all do coaching for men. Like, how do you work with a guy who is in that state of just like, I can never do it? Because that must be tough, like mentally. Trip, especially like when a guy's just so down on himself. How do you pick that guy up? Yeah, I mean, here, well, here, here's the first thing is a lot of those guys don't reach out to help for help and get coaching because they don't even think that it's possible for them, which is sad, right? So unfortunately... I don't, and my team, we don't directly talk to those guys. I think we talk to more of them when they watch our content. But uh, but yeah, no, we have obviously worked with guys who still come in and they feel like, oh, like I really want this. I think it can happen, but like this is just not happening. I think first it's a lot of mindset switching before we go into anything practical. It's like we have to, kind of like I was saying earlier, like we have to let them know. It's like, dude, this is possible for you you have to understand that you're probably super, I don't know, maybe you've been watching too much red pill stuff, or maybe, I don't know, you just grew up um, kind of similar to myself seeing that like, oh, the only guys who are successful with 
with women or guys who are like super jacked or have lots of status. And so it's like, you have to really explain to them, almost persuade them that that doesn't have to be the reality because it's not. And that if you understand how women work and you understand how to get them attracted and what they're attracted to, you don't have to be the richest guy in the room with the most status who's super tall. And that it comes down to something that you can actually fix. So I, I think it takes some persuasion there. And it's funny because I try to do that on social media. You get a lot of the loud red pillars going, you know, money looks status, money looks status. And so, you know, I, I do agree that stuff does help, right? If you have money, looks, and status, and you have a good game, well, you're the top of the top, right? You're, I don't know, the Brad Pitt, the Leonardo DiCaprio, the Tates, the whatever. Um, and then you can have the pick of your litter. But there's still a whole section of men down here below those guys where, okay, maybe you don't have the number one value in the world, but you still have value. And that gives you still a lot of women that you can be with. So I think it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of mindset work in the beginning and then taking them through the process of, all right, let's just take some action and let's see what happens. Let's get you approaching. Let's set up a profile that's going to work and we can start to build some of that confidence through the competence of putting in the work. And, uh, and so, yeah. And, and then it's a lot of motivation from there to like keep them going because it can be a struggle or in the beginning when you are going out and approaching, when you are putting on an online dating profile, you get the shit beat out of you a little bit. Right. And so, <laughs> yep. and so you, you gotta, you gotta also, I, this is how I, at least how I coach, I think awareness really helps, right? If you throw someone in there without telling them what's going to happen, it could be very dangerous. But if you tell them, Hey, listen, man, we're going to go out. You're going to get rejected a lot. It's going to sting a little bit. You're not going to get matches for a little bit. Hey man, you got to be swiping for like an hour a day to really get this to work. It's going to be a little bit of a grind, but if you just stick with it, you're going to get there. You know, hopefully the goal is on my end to motivate them to do that and then to start to build from there.